good morning welcome to the channel uh, over on the meadows today I'm gonna have a look at a new tent I've bought it's the Berghaus Cheviot 2 and believe it or not I bought it for the Delga So this is it, the Chevy at two. Um, what I'm going to do is, is open it up, go through what comes with it, um, and then get the tent put up itself. Talk about some of the things that, that I like on first impressions. I've only had a quick look at it just to make sure that it wasn't ripped or anything like that. So this will be the first proper close-up look I've had at it. So the Berghaus uh, Chevy at two comes in a stuff sack, um, decent size. Instructions on how to put the tent up. It's got the waterproofing standard on it so it's waterproof to 500 millimeters hydrostatic head it's flame retardant and then it's got the standard for the alloy poles you get the tent inner which is this one here a repair kit uh, which has I'm assuming that's for the aluminium poles it's got spare buckles spare guy lines some mesh to repair the inner I guess some various bits of fabric and a spare hook so a nice little um, nice little spares and repairs kit there yeah, nice little triangle buckle so a spare buckle of one of each of the plastic buckles from the, from the looks of it then we've got the temp pegs Lots and lots of tent pegs. I had a look at these, so probably more than you'll need. Aluminium, very lightweight. The tent poles themselves, which are this aluminium 701 TS alloy, very lightweight. I've got to say, I, 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 I thought they'd be heavier, but uh, I'll leave those out. I'm going to use those in a bit. And then, like I say, the outer. Now, this tent goes up outer first, um, which is good. I was looking for that specifically because um, nothing worse than trying to put up a tent, having to put the inner up in the rain. And this is classed as a four-season mountain hiking tent. So uh, it should be good in the winter as well. So what I'm going to do now is uh, start putting it up and, uh, and, yeah, bring you back then. Let's have a look at getting this dog's tent up then, hey? This is also he can come camping with me, you know. Right then. Hello, boy, over there. You said, no, I want to sit in my tent. Okay, you sit there and I'll sort this out. So here are the alley poles. Um, th these are great. Th these are so lightweight, it's ridiculous. This is the outer. It goes up outer first. And I'm going to pitch it with the door facing into the sun as it is at the moment, like this. Now, the nice thing about this is the outer can be used on its own, so if I just wanted to take the outer and not bother with the, with the inner, I could do that. Um, I'm not doing that today, I'm going to set it all up. I've got three poles, and these are colour-coded, so at the end At the end of the pole, it's either blue or red. And they correspond with some little sewn patches, some little loops. So that's red. And then these ones are blue. So this is telling me that I need to put a blue pole through here, a blue pole through here, and a red pole across. red pole we 
loophole. And blue pole. So I'm going to get these in the sleeves, and that should bring the the whole tent off. So blue, blue, and that just slides in. <laughs> get up your lump. He knows it's his tent. Get up. So that's the first pole in. <laughs> we'll set the second blue one in, if list will let us. So blue in blue. Actually, once I've got this up, it might give me a bit of shelter as well, a bit of shade. Thank you. So, um, with these, with these sleeves, these sleeves are mesh, so they don't catch the wind. Uh, it allows the wind to pass through them, because as I say, it is a four-season tent, so it's expected to you're expected to use, and it's a four-season mountain tent, so you're expected to use it in you know fairly diverse weather conditions so yeah so that that's a, a design feature that i quite like let's get the red pole in so red and red no <laughs> Come on over here, mate. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Right then. Quickly while he's while he's distracted somewhere else. So that's the red pole in. Now what I'm going to start doing is putting these in. So down on the bottoms, we have. There you go. Just some little loops there. That just fits in there. This one comes over and fits in there same on this side so on that one there and now this is where it's going to start pulling it into shape because this is going to lift the tent up which is the red pole That gives it the front shape. I'm going to do the same at the back with the blue poles, and that's going to lift the whole thing up. But this is the strap. You'll notice that these are compression straps as well. So, that one there, like that. And this one here, like that. Aluminium pegs. Okay, yes, that's fine. Like that. That one goes in like that. And then I'm just going to peg out the backs just to hold it in place. There. And there. So you can see there's more peg out points, so I can peg it out here, peg out these, and obviously if the weather was going to be particularly bad or if I was doing some winter camping, everything would be pegged out, um, including these guy lines. I might peg these out just for a long shot in a bit, um, but that's the outer of the tent up. So here's the inner, I'm going to put this up now, a couple of things to note. First of all, it's black. Normally when you buy these tents, they're white uh, or they're like a clear grey or a, just a plain mesh. This is designed to block out as much light as possible so you're not waking up at the crack of dawn. Um, I quite like waking up at the crack of dawn when I'm out camping, but that's the design. So what I'm going to do now is, in the corners, so as an example, this is the back of the tent that I've got in my hand here, the narrow end. And it's upside down at the moment, so I'm just going to flip it over. So what we've got are these little hooks here. 
on each corner and what they're going to do if you come over here they're going to hook onto these little triangular pieces in the corners and that's going to pull everything into shape inside And on the inside of the uh, of the tent, we've got these little hooks, and they're all over. And they just hold these little bits of elastic. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to put those corners in um, just to give it its shape. Then I'm going to hang the little elastics. That should be it done. So corners first. That's the first corner done. You get the idea. I'm going to finish putting this up, and then um, and then we'll come back in and have a look at it once once the inner's up. So the inner's up. It's got a little bit of a, an extended ground sheet which can be folded back, rolled up, and tied back here. So if you don't want to use it, but if you do want to use it, you can just uh, pull it out like that. The inner itself. So a lot of tents like this, the door rolls up either to the left or to the right. This, you can unzip it and then there's a little pocket off to the side there that it all goes into. Um, it is very dark inside, which is actually quite good really. Um, quite like that. Little hook for your lights up there. Nice big gap between the inside and the outside. Plenty of pockets. So pockets there. Ventilation at the back. Pockets on this side. This door zips up from the bottom or zips down from the top on both sides and it on Velcros. So you can open it sort of like a window at night. There's a little bit of an extra porch bit here. So again, I could unzip that down to about here. Once this is guyed out, that's going to allow the airflow through. Yeah, and it'll keep it dry, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is the Burghaus Cheviot. I, I will pick it all out properly in just a short while, just so that we can see what it looks like. And yeah, this is for the dog. This is so the dog doesn't go running off at night when I start taking him camping. Plenty of room for me and my dog in here. Weight, it's, uh, it's a little bit heavier. It weighs three kilos. But I am weighed the gear that I take with me. So my, um, my basher is 800 grams, so just under a kilo. The bivy is 700 and something grams, so again just under a kilo, and then all the ropes and um, pegs and everything that I normally take with me are about another kilo, so by using this I'm swapping out about 2.6, 2.7 kilos worth of gear for one 3 kilo piece of gear, so weight wise it's fine. If you watch my previous um, Peak District hike you, you'll realise that weight isn't a massive issue for me. Around about here, my mic stops. Um, looks like my receiver started receiving Jason's microphone. Um, but I'm just giving a final review of the, the tent, saying I'm looking forward to using it. Um, I've got it all guyed out. The dog, you can see, he's loving it. So really looking forward to getting out and using it. Um, over in the background, Jason is reviewing a TriSAR 3 by Terranova. Um, that's what he's mooching about in now. And beyond that, is the gear top hooped bivy if you want to go and see a review on those nip over to jason's channel jay's wild camping and he'll get those up soon no doubt hope this review was useful to you uh, if it was hit the like button um, if you want to see more videos like this hit subscribe uh, stay safe and i'll see you on the next one